23 times a Scrooge and number 2 the same, Stephen Hare's ever-evolving role in A Christmas Carol. It's a huge responsibility and a huge gift, says actor. For 23 years in a row, Stephen Hare has taken center stage as the embittered old miser Ebenezer Scrooge in Theatre Calgary's production of A Christmas Carol, where most actors get three weeks to turn scripted lines and stage directions into a living character. Hare has had 23 years to breathe life into this particular Christmas-hating money lender. Rather than recreate the same character year after a year, Hare has made it a personal mission to enrich and reimagine Scrooge, the cold-hearted grouch who by plays and comes to embody the kindness and generosity of the Christmas spirit. There is a real story there, a real human being, Hare, now 66, said. That's what we are trying to find as we inch forward year by year, is to find the humanity in the person, he explained. Otherwise, it won't touch an audience and yeah, I know it touches the audience every night because they tell me so. And yeah, I can see them weeping, pouring his life experience onto the stage each season before rehearsals begin. Hare pauses to reflect on the events that have shaped him that year and how he can bring them to Scrooge. Over 23 years I've lost both parents. All kinds of things have happened to me. You take those life experiences and you put them into a human being that you're trying to create. That attitude of continually adapting, playing and digging deeper is something that Theatre Calgary has actively nurtured over the 30 years that it's been staging this production. Over the years, the cast and crew have experimented with different scripts, altered staging and new sets and probes which helps keep the material fresh and alive for actors and directors said associate director Simon Mallet. We are constantly trying to make it better, he said. A rarity in theater despite its many iterations, or maybe even because of them. A Christmas Carol has become a beloved family tradition for generations of Calgarians, Mallet said, because this is the 30th year. There are now people who saw it growing up who are bringing their young children as well. That's a pretty magical experience. And not something you get very often in theater, Mallet said part of why the play resonates so strongly is that Scrooge's redemption story carries a great lesson and a strong reminder for the holiday season. That sense that we are all one. And that we need to support each other and love each other, he said. This is the time of year when some of the differences that we have are extrapolated because of financial situation. It's a nice touch point and a reminder to bring us back together as a city and as a community, Mallet said. Hare admits that he himself has even become something of an institution in the city. Thanks to his long-standing role as the central miser, I get so many people every year who say it's such a part of their Christmas. And that I've become their Scrooge, Hare said Calgarians have even recognized him at Costco and have taken the time to tell him. You're how we start Christmas. It's a huge responsibility and a huge gift.